Astute viewers, I want to talk to you about a serious problem here on the Butcher's Block. There is not enough wild turkey content on this channel. And I aim to address that right now with a review of Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Butcher's Block. I am Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield, and I am here because we are here with Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. And I was dead serious in the intro video, okay? I do not have any wild turkey content on this channel yet, and that is a sore oversight that needs to be addressed. I'm talking, we need to talk about 101. We need to talk about Russell's Reserve. We need to talk about this. I'm sure there's some other wild turkeys we're gonna get to, but let's start here because one, I've never had this. Two, I love wild turkey. I enjoy wild turkey 101. I've had Russell's Reserve many times and it's delicious. I think they're a great distillery. I've been to their distillery and I am very excited to try this because I've heard nothing but great things about it. A little bit about this bottle, 50.5% alcohol by volume, 101 proof, just like Wild Turkey 101. This particular bottle was bottled on 127, 2021 from barrel 2594 in warehouse five, Rick number 61, if anyone's counting or if anyone who works at Wild Turkey is watching this and knows exactly the barrel that I'm referencing and can tell me a story about it or tell me how wonderful it is. It is a single barrel, so let's roll that dice because you never know what you're gonna get, but I'm expecting awesomeness. There's no age statement on this, but Eddie Russell has been known to say that it's between eight or nine years for the Kentucky Spirit single barrel. The mash bill on this, 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley, and it's a number four barrel char. The MSRP on this is 55 bucks. I paid 55 bucks. I hope this is a bargain. I've honestly never tried this and I'm expecting great things. So this stuff hit the market in 1994. And it is thought to be the second bourbon single barrel bottling after Blanton's uh, that, that marketed this. And if you know about Blanton's, Blanton's was uh, the single barrel campaign started because Colonel Albert Blanton would take honey barrels from his uh, Rick house and bottle them based on if they were amazing and give them to heads of state, dignitaries, friends for Christmas gifts, etc. So you would really just save the, the premium juice for his friends. So that's where the single barrel inspiration came from for Blanton's from Elmer T. Lee. This started from that inspiration of Blanton's where, hey, we're going to market a single barrel wild turkey. So I don't really have anything else to say about this other than I just can't, I'm chomping at the bit to try this because I love wild turkey and I've never had this and I want to talk about it. So let's get to tasting. Let me open this and that was decidedly undramatic. Okay. Ooh. I love this bottle. It's so nice. Cheers. ready? Okay, here goes. I gave this three and a half stars. Here's why. Let me talk to you through the score. So the nose, that aroma, that first impression, I gave a full star. Uh, 
I think it's no secret that I always associate wild turkey with a cherry flavor profile. I don't know why, but there's always a cherry, um, cherry note to it. And this is no exception. I got full on cherry, like a cherry's jubilee, a cherry cordial, like that sweetness, but brightness and that tartness to it. I got that in the aroma. So I got that. I got like a break, baked bread, like a sweetness, savory, like a French, a fresh, uh, French, a fresh French baguette, full star. And I gave a full star to the primal, that taste, that body, that flavor, that, that bite because I got all those flavors, that cherry, that cherry's jubilee, but I got a brown sugar sweetness, a caramel, that maraschino cherry sweetness, that creaminess, but that bright tart cherry's jubilee I did get. I got a spicy nutmeg cinnamon. I also wrote down croissant because I wanted to get something like a bready sweet savoriness, like savory, like a nuttiness to it from a croissant. If I had to get crazy local, I would say in Texas, there's a thing called a cherry icebox cookie. There was kind of like that, that cherry brightness, but sweetness from a cookie. So, but I did give it a full star because there's a lot going on. It's very complex. It's very delicious. The tail, I gave a full star to, but it fades quick. That's what I would say that's kind of negative is it really just fades quick. It just kind of just up and leaves you, but you get everything from that flavor profile. It doesn't change. It just goes away. So it doesn't turn bitter. It doesn't turn sour. Like I know that sometimes a, a finish will like uh, really just kind of change in your mouth as it goes. This just whoosh, peace out. It went, it left, it hit the bricks. So we're at three stars where I gave a half, I gave it a half star for the story, for the wild turkey distillery, the trimmings, the everything else basically, just the the wild card star I didn't give, but I kind of rolled it all into one because wild turkey is a cool distillery. This is a cool story. It's a cool bottle. I really like wild turkey stuff. I love wild turkey 101. For, it's a bargain for what you get. You can make cocktails out of it. You can sip it straight. The Russell's Reserve 10 year is good. I got a bottle of that that I'm gonna review upcoming. I can't find that 13 year and I'm, I've been looking. So, and I'm not paying 500 bucks a bottle for it. Sorry, uh, I wanna talk about it and review it, but I cannot find a bottle for it at a good price. I gotta keep looking. But for now, Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel, three and a half stars. I'm okay with that. Tip your bartenders, especially if there's some wild turkey up, go visit their distillery. They've got a great distillery, a great gift shop with a lot of cool stuff. My Instagram is BenRichardsBB. Reach me on there, but comment, like, subscribe, hit this channel. Let me know what you think. Tip your bartenders. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks for watching.